You feel it every second, but you don't truly know it. The story of gravity, the force keeping your feet on the ground, goes far beyond Newton and his apple tree. That's barely chapter one. What if I told you this force is an illusion that stretches and squeezes time itself? That because of gravity, your feet are aging just a tiny bit slower than your head? The reality of gravity is far stranger than you can imagine. Over the next few minutes, we're counting down 10 bizarre facts about gravity that will shatter your perception of the universe. Fact 10, weightlessness is an illusion. You're just falling endlessly. Let's bust a huge myth. When you see astronauts floating on the ISS, it's not zero gravity. At that altitude, Earth's gravity is still 90% as strong as on the surface. So why are they floating? The answer is simple. They are in a constant state of free fall. Imagine an elevator cable snapping. For those terrifying seconds, you would float, weightless, falling at the same speed as the car. That's what's happening on the space station. It's constantly falling toward Earth, but it's also moving sideways at 17,500 miles per hour, so it continuously misses the ground. It's locked in a dance, falling around the planet. The astronauts and the station fall together, creating that illusion of weightlessness. They aren't escaping gravity, they're surrendering to it in an endless high-speed ballet. Fact nine, gravity is the universe's weakest force. This sounds wrong, doesn't it? Gravity holds galaxies together, so how could it be weak? Yet, compared to the other fundamental forces, it's a lightweight. Think about it. A tiny refrigerator magnet can overcome the entire gravitational pull of planet Earth. That magnet's electromagnetism defies a six sextillion ton planet. The strong nuclear force which holds atoms together is about 100 trillion 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 times stronger. If your body were held together by gravity instead of electromagnetism, you would dissolve into atoms. So how can the weakest force be the boss of the cosmos? It comes down to two things, its reach and its personality. Unlike other forces, gravity's range is infinite. And unlike electromagnetism, which can push and pull, gravity only ever attracts. So over vast distances and with huge masses, this weak, persistent pull just adds up and up. It's a patient force that always wins in the end. Fact eight, gravity bends more than just objects. It bends time itself. Here we enter the strange world of Albert Einstein. You think of time as a universal constant, but Einstein showed us that's not true. Time is relative and gravity messes with it. According to his theory of general relativity, the stronger the gravity, the slower time passes. This isn't a metaphor, it's a measurable phenomenon called gravitational time dilation. It's happening to you right now. Your feet are closer to Earth's center of mass, so they're in a slightly stronger gravitational field. The result, time is literally passing more slowly for your feet than for your head. The difference is nanoseconds over a lifetime, but it's real. For example, look at the GPS satellites we rely on. For them to work, their onboard atomic clocks must be corrected for time dilation. In their weaker gravitational field, their clocks tick faster than ours by about 38 microseconds every day. If scientists didn't account for this, your GPS would be off by seven miles daily. Fact seven, gravity fuels, alien volcanoes. Gravity isn't just about pulling things in a line. With multiple objects, it becomes a powerful, sometimes violent cosmic sculptor. The most spectacular example is on Io, one of Jupiter's moons. Io is the most volcanically active body in our solar system, with volcanoes spewing sulfur hundreds of miles into space. But Io is a small moon that should have gone dormant billions of years ago. Where is all this heat coming from? Gravity. Io is caught in a relentless gravitational tug of war between Jupiter's colossal pull and periodic yanks from neighboring moons Europa and Ganymede. This constant push and pull stretches and squeezes Io, a process called tidal heating. The friction generates tremendous energy, melting its interior and powering nonstop volcanic activity. This same process is thought to keep a liquid water ocean under Europa's icy shell, making it a top place to search for alien life. Gravity is a dynamic, creative, and destructive force shaping entire worlds. Fact six, gravity isn't a force, it's a curve in reality. We usually think of gravity as a force, but Einstein realized this is a convenient illusion. Gravity isn't a force at all. It's the effect of mass and energy warping the fabric of reality. Imagine space-time is a stretched rubber sheet. Place a bowling ball in the middle and the sheet curves. That's what massive objects like the sun do to space-time. Now, if you roll a marble nearby, it's not being pulled by the ball. It's simply following the curve the ball created. That's gravity. The Earth isn't pulling you down. It has warped the space-time around you and your body is just following the straightest path through that curve. This explains why astronauts in free fall feel weightless. They're following the natural curve perfectly. It also explains why light, which has no mass, bends when it passes a star. The light is following the curve. Astronomers use this effect, 
called gravitational lensing as a natural magnifying glass to see galaxies that would otherwise be invisible. We're about to get into the really deep end of reality, from the speed of gravity to its dark, repulsive side. If your perspective is already starting to shift, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. You won't want to miss the mind-bending science we explore every week. All right, let's get back to it. Fact five, gravity has a speed limit. Newton assumed gravity worked instantly. If the sun vanished, he thought Earth would immediately fly off its orbit. But Einstein knew that couldn't be right. If the sun disappeared, it would create a ripple in space-time. And Einstein predicted this ripple would travel at the fastest possible speed, the speed of light. For a century, this was just an idea. Then, in 2015, the LIGO observatories made history. They detected gravitational waves from two black holes colliding over a billion years ago. These waves had traveled across the cosmos at the speed of light. Then, in 2017, they detected a neutron star collision. LIGO caught the gravitational waves and telescopes saw the flash of light just 1.7 seconds later. This was the stunning proof. Gravity travels at the speed of light. This means we are gravitationally connected to where the sun was eight minutes and 20 seconds ago, the time it takes for its gravity to reach us. We are tethered to a ghost of the past. Fact four, gravity's ultimate expression is a black hole. If mass warps space-time, what happens when you cram an immense amount of it into one point? You get gravity's ultimate expression, a black hole. A black hole isn't a vacuum cleaner, it's a region of space-time so warped that nothing can escape once it crosses the event horizon. All paths lead to the central singularity. Even light can't outrun it. The gravity is so extreme it leads to spaghettification. The pull on the part of you closer to the black hole would be so much stronger than the pull on the farther part that you'd be ripped apart, atom by atom. But black holes are also cosmic engines. When they merge, they convert mass into pure energy as gravitational waves. The first merger LIGO detected released more energy in moments than all stars in the observable universe combined, the most powerful events possible. Fact three, gravity can also push things apart for centuries, gravity only pulled. It seemed inevitable that the universe's expansion would slow down, stop, and maybe reverse in a big crunch. Then, in 1998, astronomers discovered the expansion wasn't slowing down. It was speeding up. Something was pushing the universe apart. Scientists named this mystery dark energy, a property of space itself with a strange repulsive effect. And here's where it gets weird. In a way, dark energy is a form of gravity. General relativity says pressure also creates gravity. Dark energy is believed to have a strong negative pressure, which flips the script, making gravity itself repulsive on a cosmic scale. This invisible energy makes up nearly 70% of our universe, while normal matter is less than 5%. We live in a universe dominated by a mysterious repulsive gravity that is pushing everything apart. Fact two, gravity doesn't play by quantum rules. Modern physics rests on two pillars, Einstein's general relativity, our theory of the large-scale universe, and quantum mechanics, our theory of the very small. Both are spectacularly successful. The problem is they are completely incompatible. When you try to describe gravity on a quantum scale, like inside a black hole, the math breaks down. This incompatibility is the biggest mystery in physics, the problem of quantum gravity. The other three fundamental forces have a successful quantum description, but gravity refuses to get with the program. Theories like string theory and loop quantum gravity are trying to crack this problem, and scientists are getting closer to testing these ideas, recently measuring the gravitational pull on the smallest mass ever recorded. It's a huge step toward probing how gravity behaves on the edge of the quantum world. But for now, gravity's true nature remains a profound enigma. Fact one, gravity might not be fundamental at all. We've gone from Newton's apple to space-time, but the most bizarre fact might be this. Gravity may not be fundamental. It could be an emergent phenomenon, an illusion. Think about temperature. A single molecule doesn't have a temperature. Temperature emerges from the collective motion of many molecules. It feels real, but it's not a fundamental property. Some cutting edge theories propose gravity is just like that. It emerges from a deeper reality with no gravity and maybe no space time. One idea is that gravity arises from quantum entanglement, that spooky connection linking particles no matter the distance. The theory suggests the web of entanglement between quantum information stitches space-time together. So gravity isn't the curvature of space-time, but a consequence of quantum information. Space-time and gravity would be like a hologram. If true, the force you feel is a macroscopic illusion, born from the ghostly connections of the quantum realm. So what is gravity? It's the weakest and most dominant force. It's why your feet age slower than your head. It's not a force, but a curve in reality. It has a speed limit a repulsive dark side, and it defies quantum rules. It might not even be real, but 
an emergent ghost of a deeper reality. The simple force Newton described is now one of science's deepest mysteries, touching on the nature of time, the cosmos, and existence itself. It proves the ground beneath our feet isn't so simple. It's a gateway to understanding the entire universe. If these facts have altered your perspective, imagine what else is out there waiting to be discovered. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss our next journey into the unknown. And check out this video next, where we explore the mysteries of dark matter. Thanks for watching.